Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Today you guys will be seeing me opening my EV01 booster box I got and at the background you can already see me opening the packs and after I talked about a few cards in the set and about the set itself I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of the video. So basically if you guys don't know what the eb set is this is basically the extra booster set the first extra booster set and this set just contains support cards for a lot of different archetypes such as dressrosa or land of wano or animal or um the big mom type supernova whatever they may be all of them basically and this is just like a supportive set um it's not like a regular set so this is more of a um, set in between and I do see them uh, adding those every now and then to actually um, give out some new cards for the decks and to change up the meta game. So basically what are some cards that you really want to pull in this set if you decide to open it? Obviously, you really want to see the Manga Chopper or at least his alternative art form. The Manga Chopper is the most valuable card in the set. Then we are looking at the Secret Rare from this set, which is Mr. 2 and also in his um, alternative art form. Mr. 2 probably going to be your staple in every purple deck because his effect is so damn good. and you are most likely going to be able to include him in every purple deck it's just that good then we are looking at some other cards obviously we uh, also enjoy the uh the leader cards in their alternative art form we have kozuki odin for the land of mana type we have uh, kuros for the dress rosa type and we have hanyabal for the impel down type or the archetype and obviously some other cards you really uh, want to see are the yellow charlotte flampe for some decks um, most uh, the most used deck that she will be included is probably the um, the black and yellow luffy deck from the three brothers um, star deck and then we have also the kid and killer card which is most likely going to be included in the red purple law deck and then we have uh, two more cards i think that are really really important and strong uh, the first would be brook and brook is my personal favorite card in this set because i think it's just that strong that good and that viable because you could actually just play him in any black deck um, he is that strong that good his artwork is amazing and I think that Brook uh, will probably be one of the best black cards because he's just that effective and that good and he is also a straw hat so basically you can also use him in the st14 card st14 um, starter deck and this is this is just a nice bonus but this is nowhere near his top potential so um, then we are also looking at Viola. Viola is also a great card to pull also in her alternative art form and Viola is probably going to be used in the pudding deck because of her second effect where you can actually just um, put your life cards face down back again. These are just some um, strong cards that you could use in this deck. In this deck, I mean in every deck, um, these cards will be used in future meta game because this is what they were actually designed for. You are not going to build a specific deck around Odin with the green and red cards released in this deck. You are most likely going to be including them as well, but not just purely. And this is just an example. So, and in the background, as you guys have already seen, I have um, now just letting you guys see the few um, cards before we are getting the duplicates. And at this point at the video, I have decided to actually 
pre-cut all of the booster boxes because it was not that easy to open the packs with the um, intentional cut. I don't know, I just think it is way easier to cut them with um, scissors carefully before you actually just pull out the cards because if you uh, rip them with the um, with the pre-cut seal on top there is just so many ways to actually hurt or damage the cards at the top if you try to rip them through so this was just my idea to pre-cut them and I think that this is the most common way because you really do not want to damage your card and as you guys can see I have stopped the uh, speeding up now for this because at this point I have probably opened half of the box and have not gotten a big hit yet excluding some super rares I have got and there could be some banger in this booster box who knows who knows who knows and it's gonna be the first alternative art in this set that I pulled it is Miss Wednesday also really strong card but this is just something that you will include for the Baroque type works, arch type, so basically only the um, crocodile decks. So this is not going to be your staple card. But either way guys, I will be making some uh, more videos around the EVO 1 set. I will be making some um, a tier list and some duels uh, to record them and uploading them on this video. And with that being said. Enjoy the rest of the opening and if you do, please leave a like, subscribe and we will see each other in the next video. Peace.